Hi there. My name is Chris Nossel. I design AI at IBM for a suite of products called the Sterling Supply Chain. But I'm not here today to talk to you about real world AI. I'm here to talk to you about the stuff that we see in science fiction, movies and television shows to be exact. That a hundred years of science fiction shows had suggested and a set of manifestos that also had a series of suggestions on what we should do about AI. Now, the first set of things uh, were things that sci-fi did talk about that the manifestos said we ought to talk about. And those are connected in the graphic by these colored lines sort of sweeping from the left to the right. On the other side, we have a whole list of things that the manifestos talked about that the science fiction that didn't appear in science fiction movies and television shows. That is the collection of untold AI. And I it was graded on five categories that sort of emerged from the manifestos. And the first category is that we should build the right AI. The second category was that we should build the AI right. Third category is that we must manage the risks and effects of AI. And the fourth category was that we have to monitor AI. And the last category is that we should encourage an accurate cultural narrative. Sci-fi, I think, misses all of this. If sci-fi is how the population at large knows AI, then what the study shows us is that what people know is mostly the wrong thing. We have work to do to educate people on, on technologists, legislators, and the makers of science fiction. And we also have work to do in ourselves. I mean, we. As, as, as a population, uh, we love sci-fi, but we really have to keep it at arm's length um, to stay skeptical about it. It, it is first and foremost entertainment, uh, and for that reason, we can't let it blind us or, or even misinform us. So, as I say nearly every time I present uh, this material, stop watching sci-fi, please start using it. Thank you.